I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga kamathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pala sa channel ko, huwag mo kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit mo na yung post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon tungkol sa defining a linear inequality in two variables. So saan nga ba ginagamit ang linear inequality? First, review the definition of inequality. Second, translate real-life situation to linear inequality. So think critically and divergently. A working student's schedule. Manuel has two part-time jobs, one paying 30 pesos per hour and another paying 35 pesos per hour. He must earn at least 825 pesos per week to pay his expenses while attending college night classes. So we all know na ang mga working students ay talagang hectic ang schedule. So sila yung Ito yung mga self-supporting para lang makatapos sa pag-aaral. So, kaya naman ang ginagawa nila ay nagpa-part-time job, katulad ni Manuel. So, tutulungan natin si Manuel para ma-resolve ba yung kanyang problem. First, identify what are the given in the problem. So, meron siyang dalawang part-time job. Doon sa una niyang part-time job ay 30 pesos per hour ang kanyang kinikita or binabayad sa kanya. While, doon sa kanyang pangalawang part-time job, ang binabayad sa kanya ay 35 pesos per hour. And ang sinabi dito, he must earn at least 825 pesos. So, pag sinabi natin at least 825 pesos, pwedeng saktong 825 pesos ang kitain niya or pwede rin namang more than 825 pesos para meron siyang extra money. So, ilang oras ba dapat siya magtrabaho sa kanyang mga part-time jobs? So, write an inequality that shows the various ways he can schedule his time to achieve his goal. So, let X be the number of hours Manuel works on the first job. And then, let Y be the number of hours Manuel works on the second job. So, we will be translating the verbal statement into a mathematical statement. So, we have the hourly rate on the first job times the number of hours worked on the first job. So, kailangan natin i-multiply yung oras doon sa kung magkano yung kikitain niya per hour sa first job. Plus, the hourly rate on the second job times number of hours work on the second job. Ganun din po. Is at least 825 pesos. So, how are we going to, tra to translate that? So, you have 30 pesos times X plus 35 times Y. So, that will be the number of hours work on the second job is at least so, gumamit tayo dito ng symbol na greater than or equal to 825. So, therefore, our linear inequality is 30x plus 35y is greater than or equal to 825. So, take note dito sa inequality na to, gumamit tayo ng symbol na greater than or equal to sa is at least. The inequality obtained in a, is an example of a linear inequality in two variables. So, yung ating nakuha based on the given problem ay example ng linear inequality. So, it can be written in one of four forms. So, you have AX plus BY is greater than C. It can be uh, AX plus BY is greater than or equal to C. It can also be written as AX plus BY is less than C. And AX plus BY is less than or equal to C where A, B, and C represent real numbers and A and B are, bo are not both equal to 0. 
So these are the symbols used in inequality. So you have the symbol for greater than, and then you have the symbol for less than. So maraming nalilito, di, uh, nalilito dito. Tandaan nyo lang na kapag pa L, less than po siya. And then yung the other way around is greater than. Then kapag naman po may underline yung greater than, ang tawag doon or ang basa doon ay greater than or equal to or at least. While yung less than na may underline is less than or equal to or at most. So yung ginamit kanina ay greater than or equal to or at least. So ito yung mga symbols na ginagamit sa linear inequality. An ordered pair XY is a solution of an inequality in two variables if a true statement results when variables in the inequality are replaced by the coordinates of the ordered pair. So kapag sinabstitute natin at kapag true statement, therefore it is a solution. So let us determine whether each ordered pair is a solution. Okay, so let's have example 1. Determine whether each ordered pair is a solution of the given linear inequality. So, ito yung linear inequality doon sa kanina nating problem tungkol kay Manuel. So, uh, tutulungan natin siya para bigyan ng solution yung kanyang problem. So, ilang hours ba dapat siya mag-work sa kanyang first at second part-time jobs? So, we have here ordered pair. So, the first ordered pair is 6, 15. Meaning, 6 hours for his first job and second uh, uh, 15 hours for his second job. B, 10, 15. Then, letter C, 12, 16. So, let's have the solutions. So, let's start with the ordered pair 6 and 15. So, you have here the given inequality. We just substitute 6 for x and 15 for y. Pinatan lang po natin yung mga value. And then, we need to multiply. So, 30 times 6 is 180. Plus, 35 times 15 is 525. Is greater than or equal to 825. Then, you just add 705 is greater than or equal to 825. Is 705 greater than or equal to 825? So, it is a false statement. So, we can conclude that 6 and 15 is not a solution of the inequality. So, meaning to say, hindi enough yung 6 hours for the first job at 15 hours for the second job. So, let's try another coordinate. So, the given is 10 and 15. You just substitute 10 for x and 15 for y. So, you have 30 times 10 plus 35 times 15 is greater than or equal to 825. So, 30 times 10 is 300 plus 525. You have 825 is greater than or equal to 825. That is 2. So, meaning to say, nasakto yung nakuha natin. Therefore, it is a solution of the inequality because we have here equal to. Okay, so let's have the last coordinate. So, let's check if 12, 16 is a solution with our given inequality. So, you just substitute 12 for x and 16 for y. So, therefore, 30 times 12 plus 35 times 16. So, you have 360 plus 560. You just multiply. And then, you just add. 360 plus 560 is 920. Is it greater than or equal to 825? Of course, that is true. Hence, 12 and 16 is the solution of the inequality. So, take note, there are several solutions for this kind of problem. So, pwede pa tayo mag-isip ng ibang ordered pairs para siya ay mag-true statement. Kapag true statement, meaning to say that the given ordered pair is a solution. Otherwise, it is not a solution. Okay? So, let's have another example. Determine whether each ordered pair is a solution of 5x minus 2y is less than 3. So, we have here the given coordinates. So, you have A, negative 1, 0, for B, 1, 2, and for letter C, 2 and 1 half. So, let's start with negative 1 and 0. 
So yeah, just substitute negative 1 for x and 0 for y. Sinabstitute lang po and then multiply. 5 times negative 1 is negative 5 minus 2 times 0 is 0. So negative 5 minus 0, that is negative 5. Is it less than 3? Yes, true. Meaning to say that negative 1, 0 is a solution of the inequality. Okay, so let's have the next ordered pair. 1, 2, is it a solution or not? So you just substitute 1 for x and 2 for y. 5 times 1 minus 2 times 2 is less than 3. Just multiply 5 times 1 is 5. Minus 2 times 2 is 4. And then 5 minus 4 is 1. Greater is uh, less than 3. That is true. Meaning to say that 1 and 2 is a solution of the inequality. Last ordered pair. 2 and 1 half. So substitute 2 for x and 1 half for y. So that is 5 times 2 minus 2 times 1 half is less than 3. So 5 times 2 is 10 minus, that is 2 over 2 or 1, is less than 3. So 10 minus 1 is 9. Is it greater than 3? That is a false statement. So meaning to say that 2 and 1 half is not a solution of the inequality. So that's it for our lesson today. So I hope that you learned something about inequality. So for your activity, so I want you to answer two items. So pwede nyo munang i-post yung video and then copyhin yung given and then later on uh, we will be revealing the answers. So enjoy answering our activity regarding linear inequality. Okay, so let's have the answers for letter A, 1A, that is a solution, for B, not solution, and for letter C, solution. Then for number 2, A, not solution, B, solution, C, not solution. So that's it for our video today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share it with your friends and classmates. God bless us all. See you on my next video tutorial.